So I have my uh, shape here for my teapot. I have a spout which I've cut uh, to the right angle so that when I attach it onto the, the side here, it'll be angling up. Um, I'm going to show you how to attach this. Um, first thing I'm going to do is score the edge here on the, on, the, um, on the spout where I'm going to attach it. And I'm going to score where I attach onto the pot as well, um, but to help me mark it and keep it even, uh, I'm going to um, I'm going to add some slip onto here. So I've got it measured where I want to add it. I'm going to add some. I'm going to add some slip onto this edge. And even though I haven't scored the uh, the pot itself yet, I'm going to use the slip that I'm adding onto the pot or onto the spout to help me line it up. So I'm going to uh, just set it on there, try to get it level and where I want it to be. Um, and uh, what I've been left with now is a ring there that shows me where I need to score. So first thing I'm going to do is score that. And of course I need an opening in there as well. So I'm going to use a hole, to, hole drilling tool here uh, to put, my, put some holes in here. Now you can cut out the whole interior, the W-H-O-L-E interior, or you can cut holes like this um, that are meant to be for straining the T. If I were being a little bit more careful and not speaking while I was doing it, I might be cutting these into a more organized kind of pattern. Um, this isn't a particularly visible part of the pot, but you do want to be careful that these aren't going to um, cause problems, be sharp, clog, uh, be outside of your, your opening area there. So all of these have uh, filled in again, and I'm going to have to pull these extra bits out of the clay um, so that they don't plug. Uh, I can, I'm pulling them just out with my hand. Uh, some people might grab a needle too and pop that into there. So I've uh, drilled the holes into the side of this, this pot. I've also come through with my finger and just smoothed out both the exterior and the interior so that we don't end up with sharp uh, pieces uh, that are going to be harder to clean. So I've scored this edge. I've scored here. Um, I'm going to add some slip because it's been sitting for a little bit as I dealt with camera difficulties. So I'm going to add some slip that I have prepared here. And uh, it's, you know, it's, I, I would recommend getting the thick slip on there if you can. Um, I've got some watered down slip here, but I'll, I'll get down to the thicker stuff. Now, when you put this on here, it's important, a um, couple of things. One is, uh, I had forgotten, but I've got a, the curve on the edge here doesn't quite match the curve on the pot itself. So I'm going to reshape this edge just a little bit. Um, and of course, I'm squishing it, and so I'm going to have to rescore it. Um, but the, uh, I'm, I'm reshaping that curve there to match the curve that I have on the side of the pot here. And I'll show you from the side angle um, what I mean by that. It's, it sort of uh, has a gap there because this interior edge is, um, the cut that I did was smooth and the pot itself curves a little bit. Now you can do this with a knife. My clay is soft enough that I can do this with my hand. I would recommend you do it earlier than I did, but uh, one, of the, one of the things of doing it on video for the first time is that I'm learning as I go. Um, or, or remembering as I go. All right, so now I've got a little bit fl more flush attachment there. I've got to get back and score that again so that it will, uh, it will stick well. Um, and I may just double check and make sure I've got this nice and scored. I may cover up some of those holes. Um, I've got a lot, so it's not gonna matter a whole lot. Uh, add some slip, the thick stuff and now I'll go ahead and attach this. Now it's important that you get this lined up straight uh, so that your attachment doesn't end up twisting over to the side. And uh, as long as I've got this flush against this edge, I can leave this seam visible um, if I'd like to as long as it's not going to leak. But what I tend to do is take some soft clay and uh, add a coil of soft clay to that edge. So I'm going to just take and roll this into a, a nice thin even coil and I'm going to attach this into here. Now I'm using a thin coil, it doesn't need to be adding bulk to this joint here, but it's going to add, um, well it's going to fill in that crack there, add some stability as well. 
Often when you're attaching um, leather hard pieces, it's a good idea, well always you should score and slip, but often it's a good idea to have another uh, added piece of clay on that joint. When you're working with slabs, you always add a coil on that joint, and uh, I like to do the same thing with, uh, with teapots and with handles and things. Um, but it doesn't, like I say, it doesn't need to be adding a lot of thickness to there. Another tool that I like to use is uh, one of these rubber tips and I can get in there. Um, sometimes you can get into angles a little bit better. Now I'm going to go ahead and fuss with this um, and take a little break while I smooth that out.